It's going to be a really nice auction next week on Tuesday. Beautiful little roll top desk. A nice lamps and artwork. This little floral painting here, I cannot discern the signature, but it's very well done. And here's a little mother engraving, Whistler's mother. <clears throat> a little fireplace fender. A little piece there. Nice looking pair of flame stitch occasional chairs. A really nice coffee table and rug. Nice Victorian rocker. There's a lot of nice artwork and wall pieces this auction. Lovingly Elsie. A nice you know, Egyptian revival. Big old frame. This is a beautiful oak table. Check out those paw feet with the flat lion's heads. A set of six chairs. That's a set of Noritaki china. The artwork on this wall is all Jim Ryan, R Y O N. He is a Kansas area artist, Kansas City area artist, I'm sorry. And there are some very, some pretty nice paintings up there. There's a few prints. Uh, but it's all pretty good looking stuff. <coughs> nice little Victorian rocker. Nice little uh, bridge arm. Uh, this is a cool globe. It, it hangs. And I haven't really played with it much, but it looks like a neat old thing. Old sax. Nobody's really sure what this is. Other than just kind of neat. Great decorative lamp. Look at the nice depth of the applied floral, ceramic florals on there and hand painted. And then the little buffet here is Baker. Actually, it's not really a buffet, it's just a side piece. Very handsome, very elegant, 19, you know, high style, 60s, 70s. Military photo there. This little Jure type. Fabulous uh, Empire or Empire Revival rocker and a sideshow. Recently upholstered in a beautiful yellow on yellow. A little smoking stand. A little carved well walnut coffee table. This is an ice pay. His oil sell for 20 and 30 grand. This is an artist, artist edition of the artist piece. Pencil signed, and then this is a pictorial war record, uh, 1897. So battles fought in, wounded at. Republic County, Kansas. Attacked and captured city of Pasig, March 15th, 1899. Police duty, March 19th. Kind of neat. Uh, Battle of Alcani, Cuba. Pretty neat piece there. Beautiful care stand. Nice big room size care stand. Some more good old pictures. Pencil signed. Pencil signed pictures. Little charcoal. This is a great looking little vignette here. I love the decorative mirror. Notice all the different pieces in the bevel in the mirror. And this great chrome lamp and the leather top desk that is made by Dunbar. It's hard to believe. 1940s high style Dunbar. There's the tag. And then this chair with the, uh, you know, really well made. And then the uh, crushed horns for the back is a really cool piece. Some of the furniture, some more interesting artwork. Spoons. A big elephant. Prince paintings. Neat little botany ties advertising piece, pretty cute. You know, bike. Great old wagon. 1930s or 40s, some iron. Some neat little uh, 70s odds and ends. Nice Victorian walnut frame with the painting in it. 
painting on velvet. No all of this, but other paintings on velvet. Big stack of pictures. This pair of chairs looks, uh, I could use a different, I think they use different fabric, but they have a really interesting line. Look like 1980s, you know, Century, Baker. Pretty good looking lines too. This little separate rib up here. It cost quite a bit to put that on there originally. A couple of racks full of pictures, some nice frames. Some other odds and ends, some what you think, eight set of chairs. A little wicker stool. This is cool, the Brother Stereophonic. Eight track, four channel eight track, and the radio record player. A little rattan table and four. Here's the boat, 1989 Maxim. I think it's a 16 foot, the 50 horse, 50 horse mark, 50 horsepower force outboard motor. With the trailer. I think the last sticker is 2008. I was in the water then. Here's water ready now. I don't know what would be wrong with it. It would make it from doing that. The family just kept it in the garage last year. Didn't make it out to the lake. Fun toy. Pretty neat piece. A couple of furs, including an Alaskan, a couple of quilts. And then a few box lots along the end of the auction here. Different pottery, glass for a box full of little delft pieces, stretch glass plates, some linens, a little tea kettle. Old Santa Claus, some blue and white, all kinds of odds and ends. Looks like fur collars. Oh, that's cute. Little traveling games set. Looks like we're missing a bunch of pieces, though. That's too bad. they're in the box here yet. U.S. poker chips. Unbreakable. Oh my goodness, all kinds of poker chips. Imported boxwood chess set. Parker Brothers. Oh. So all kinds of little games there. That's pretty cute, the little folding game board. Uh, some radios, flatware, more radios, silver plate. This is a neat little uh, telescope, Star Trek the telescope, never out of the box it looks like. Probably get that set up before the auction on Tuesday. Some nice big books. Engelman's Autocraft, that's interesting. Miller High Life Champagne. It's an old beer advertising seat piece, but the cord uh, is a little frail, so we're not going to plug that in. Some more new odds and ends. A lot of estate stuff. Neat little RCA Victor. There's lots of uh, boxes of jewelry here, there, and everywhere. More prints. A little box of uh, Mexican pottery. So the pool cue, pool balls, all kinds of goodies. Fishing rods, baseball bats, more jewelry. And then a little bit of interesting odds and ends on the front little table, a little howdy doody phono doodle. Dinnerware. It works. Some pretty nice silver plate trays there. More jewelry. There's a lot of jewelry in this week's auction. A couple nice pieces of glass. I'm pretty sure it's an old glass shade. And then more jewelry. And matchbox cars. A couple of cases full. And I haven't looked through them at all. Well, that's cute. Brook Bond T. That's me. Oh, there's some pretty neat little toys in there. LCC Ambulance, another Lesney. 
so it's going to be a good auction. A lot of neat items here at the end, and then some really nice furniture. And again, not a lot. That's kind of more we're headed to. Figure we'll be done by 10:30. There's a lot of good smalls. We'll show that in the other video. A couple of things coming up. We've set the next catalog auction for December 7th. We've had some really wonderful items come in the last two weeks. We were able to set a date because of it. And then uh, next Friday night, over at Lily, over at Lily Bell's. Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell is long. Over, over at Liberty Bell, uh, we will be doing an antique appraisal fair as a fundraiser for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, you can find more information on our website about it. You can also find information on Liberty Bell's website about it. Uh, it's going to be a really good event. We're excited about it. Hope a lot of you come out and support it. I believe it's going to be $10 per item, uh, three items for $25 for an appraisal fee. And all the money will go towards Breast Cancer Awareness. So, if you have things that have been laying, laying around for a while, uh, want to have us take a look at them, please bring them on out. We'll be happy to do that.